All right, howdy. Got a quick video here to demonstrate the MPC-1000 MIDI mixer I made with the Arduino Uno. Uh, I have 16 channels here of volume and pan MIDI control that go to the MPC-1000. The control change numbers are marked over here to the right for each of those. And then the channel numbers are marked on each pair of volume and pan knobs. Down here I have eight buttons that are regular uh, note uh, MIDI messages that will change the mode and the screen that the MPC is running at the time. So let's see, you can see it change in real time there. So now if I set it to the mixer mode, you can see I have uh, four tracks up here. So if I go to track number four, and I turn the volume knob, look at that, the volume goes up and down, and I'll zoom in so you can see the pan go left and right. And I've got a simple four track beat that I've loaded up here uh, to sort of demonstrate it. <laughs> Anyway, so that's about it. Um, there are a few extra hookups here. Down here, there is a TRS connection for a control pedal uh, that is set up to control change number 11. And then here on the back, let's take a look at this. We have eight more TS connections back here. That's simple, uh, normally open momentary uh, foot switches can do the same kind of functions that these eight controls up here did. And you also have nine volt center negative plug right here and another one over here, they go the same place. The MIDI output right here. And then this USB is uh, how I connect to the Arduino Uno to change uh, the control change numbers or, uh, you know, anything like that can be reprogrammed on the Arduino Uno through here. Um, and real quick on the MPC-1000, this is running JJOS2XL. And uh, just to get into the MIDI note. So if you go to the mode MIDI sync, click yourself over to button. Uh, you have all of these note numbers that are way down here, negative two, E, F, negative two, F sharp, negative two. So they're not going to play any musical notes, but you can assign those to do stuff. So I've got this one set up to do effect, this one to do song, this one to do step edit. And if I punch out of here and I press those buttons, it does that. Here's the effect. Here's the song uh, sequencing. Here's the step edit, so on. Um, and you can cycle through just whatever. So step edit could be the grid. It could be, you know, jump to track number one, two, three, all the way through 16. You can mute certain tracks. So all those buttons on the back, you can assign them to mute certain tracks or solo tracks. Uh, what else? Erase, numeric. Basically, almost, almost all the other buttons that are present on the face of the MPC, you can assign to one of these other buttons or the foot switches in the back. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna set this back to step edit. I think that's what I had it at. There we go. 
And uh, that's it. Yeah, so once again, I am interested in selling this. I'm not interested in selling this. I'm going to keep that forever. Uh, but if anybody thinks this is neat and is interested in buying it, let me know because uh, I'm probably going to be taking some pictures and posting it on Reverb soon unless somebody in the NPC group wants it. So hit me up. Thanks a bunch.